My, my record came about purely because um, I wanted to make a record. I wanted to have a project that was my own that I could feel proud of because I spend like a lot of my time working on other people's projects. So um, I wanted to mark where I was musically at the moment. I wanted each part of the record to uh, to be able to show people um, a different side of, of what I do. So like hopefully the punk crew will be able to find something in the classical stuff that they'd never heard before and the people who are really into the classical stuff would be able to hear some of the, the kind of more riotous stuff. I also wanted to like get into play a lot of my friends who are great musicians and get them on the record and see what they brought to it. And the record is called Euneurophrenia. And what it means is when you wake up uh, and you feel good because you had a good dream. And the reason I called it that is because I went through, um, had a couple of bad years um, for whatever reason and um, had about six months of really crippling nightmares. You wake up and you feel shit because you've had bad dreams. And I thought, okay, I'm going to call it malneurophrenia. Um, and I thought, no, that's super negative. I don't want to make a negative record. So the opposite of that is uneurophrenia, waking up after good dreams. So that's what the record's called. I just, I just want to make sure that it gets to as many people as possible in as many listenerships and genres as possible. I don't want this to be a brass band record at all. In fact, it barely is. I don't want it to be a brass band record any, any more than I want it to be a contemporary record or, a, or like a punk brass record or, or whatever. Um, I just want people who are interested in new music done well to, to buy it and listen to it.